One last way of monitoring for varroa mites in your colony is by using a screen bottom board and a sticky board combination. The screen bottom board can come in a variety of styles. This style has a shallow entrance at the top for the bees, a wide entrance underneath for your screen bottom sticky board to go underneath. You can also have ones with landing boards such as this one sticks out beyond the colony. So if you prefer to have a landing board, they can be manufactured that way as well. You can design your own, you can buy plastic ones. There are a variety of methods to do this. In order to use the screen bottom board, you need a, a standard bottom board. Typically the bottom board sits with this entrance to the front of the colony. But in this case, we actually want to spin the bottom board around mm -hmm. and place the screened bottom board above it. Now the bees will come in this front entrance and up into the colony. This back can be closed off with a piece of wood and that will ensure that no bees come in below and come into contact with the bromite that have fallen through the screen and onto the bottom board below. We have one set up on this colony. As you can see here, the opening is to the back of the colony. The entrance has the front. And this is actually quite a, a nice change. We don't have to open up the colony. We just have to come in, open up the back door of the colony, and slide the tray in underneath. We've used a cafeteria tray, a filing folder, placed a grid on the filing folder so that it's easy to count the varroa mites after the, the time of inside the colony. It's a good idea to mark the filing folder with the, the yard name and the colony name number, whichever identification you use. And that way when you bring it back to your house, your garage, your shop, and you count the number of varroa mites on this sheet, you'll know where that number came from. coat this uh, to get the Varroa to stick onto the sheet. You'll use uh, Vaseline, Crisco, uh, insect trap coating, anything sticky that will make it easy to see the Varroa mites and make them stick for the whole time that they are there. Just simply slide it underneath the screen on the colony. You do want to cover up this back. You don't want the bees or frogs or snakes or anything else to get in there. Leave it untouched for three full days. Come back after three days, peel off the back, grab the tray, slide it out, and count the varroa mites that have fallen and stuck to the paper.